Yo! Hello! So, I'm here preparing for some street interviews. We want to talk to some digital nomads. This is my friend Melvin from Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> yeah. How old are you? I'm 22. 22. So, solo traveler. I just met him um, yesterday eating Thai food. Yeah, at the local restaurant. At the local restaurant, my friend. So, and here we are in Rawai. It looks like we're gonna get some rain, maybe, but we can still talk to people. Hi, can I ask you a quick question? You look like nomads. Nomads. Did you do nomads? No? Okay, no. Okay, they didn't want to. <laughs> uh, this guy over there, he looks very. Um, let me just talk to him. Let's walk over there. Hi, can I ask you a quick question? <laughs> no, no English. <laughs> we're just we're just making interviews, to, talking to uh, other travelers, okay. because we're, he's from Sweden. I'm from Germany, yeah. and I run a channel for digital nomads. No, I'm not. A You're not a digital, digital nomad. nomad. Okay, that's no, okay. No, no. All okay, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank bye. You. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. He was Russian for sure. Yeah. Can tell by the accent. No interest to talk to people. Okay. Yeah. Um. What about his neighbor? Well, he was—he looked. He's talking to the phone. He's oh, yeah, busy. It's true. It's true. Doubt. So, what is it then for you, this so, trip? So, uh, I will try to what? become a digital nomad, but I will not consider myself. Oh, what are you? Uh, you just travel? You just vacationing? Like on not, vacation? No, not a vacation. Like in Sweden, I have a landscaping company. Oh, you but, have a landscaping company? Yeah. And uh, I want to do something different. I want to switch niche and uh, probably get it to work like this on traveling foot and I'm thinking about maybe YouTube or something similar or coaching but I'm, uh, I'm taking some like build, time. building a personal brand or something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what way I'm going to choose. There's so many ways you can choose. So yeah, yeah I'm still figuring it out. So I think a lot of nomads start that way or like nowadays it's, the thing is that most People, or it doesn't really matter if you have a landscaping company or if you have a content based influencer endeavor it you always need like your personal branding yeah and you need to build something online on social media and then so it's always a good idea I guess and so yeah I just saw another yeah. two guys over there They're staring into their cell phone they could be digital nomads so let me just yeah, ask them hey guys can I ask you a quick question? Yes. So I'm just I'm um, doing some interviews here with uh, my friend from Sweden. I met him yesterday. We're doing like a digital nomad thing. I have a newsletter for nomads, and I'm just wondering if you qualify. <laughs> I mean, if you are, would you consider yourself like nomads, or you just back on vacation? Yeah, just on vacation. Just on vacation, yes. because you look like you know prepared <laughs> for. Yeah. We're just on vacation. Just on vacation. Where are you from? In Germany. Okay, me too. He's from Sweden. Okay. Yeah. Well, enjoy your travels, man. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Bye. Well. Okay, Germany is. I guess uh, Germany and uh, Russian is the predominant yeah. species here. Yeah, I okay. Think so too. There's but more coming over there. Okay, but those are not the nomads. <laughs> no. Should we just uh, go along and see if we can find? Yeah, we can, uh, yeah, we can keep walking. Looks like a good spot to find people. Yeah. So, yeah, make a break here. So, how did you start? Like, what's your story? I did um, start because when I came back from Mexico, where I had my first company and my where I was living before, yeah. I came back uh, with uh, nothing to my name because I lost my company to the pandemic. Oh. Like, uh, bankruptcy. See. And then. I had a choice between taking a job in Germany, yeah. which sounds like uh, a, a, a load of crap, yeah. and then the other option was traveling and trying yeah. to get something, uh, sell my skills. Mm -hmm. Well, do some form of freelancing and then content-based stuff. Yeah. I tried different things, <clears throat> switched around from one shiny object to the other, to the next. Yeah. Um, and then and now this is how I became a digital nomad, I guess. So what? Let me ask this. Hey, excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Are you okay? 
Where are you from? Russia. 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 You speak English? Yes, little. Okay, well, he's from Sweden. I'm yeah. from Germany. We are like talking to making street interviews with uh, nomads, like travelers. Like we want to know how they get along with their journey on their journey and everything. Is that something that you identify with or not really? You're just here for... Actually, my English is not very good. Okay, it's not a problem. <laughs> I don't the help of the words. Okay. High five. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah. It's really chill here. Yeah. So here's why you like smoke your weed and just shut up. Yeah. Hi. Hi there. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> You look like the typical digital nomad because you look like at the ocean, at the sea, and have your laptop here. Yes, I, I, I work here at the same time and uh, in a good, good view. Where are you from? Uh, French. I am from French. I'm from Germany, he's from Sweden. Oh, yeah, yeah, Melvin. Nice to meet you. Nice Roman. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm making a, like a, a video about uh, street interviews. Just talking to strangers, but uh, I, we, 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 we try to um, find nomads like solo travelers, full time travelers. You are, um, you are on the uh, internet? So yes, you, I, you um, make video, you video present, uh, I write, I have a blog, a okay. newsle newsletter, and a blog, blog for nomads. And so I write about different things about um, travel, uh, online. Uh, and, uh, and I need to tell you the truth because uh, I create a company here. A what? And, uh, I create a company here. Yeah. Not uh, ready, it's not my job uh, to work uh, everywhere in the world. Okay. No. Uh, I live here and uh, I have a company, I sell uh, CBD products uh, for massage. CBD uh, products for massage? Okay, massage. well, this is a good place to buy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're sitting at the source of it. Mm -hmm. You're sitting at the source, like where it's, where it's being sold. I need to tell you, I learn English in Thailand. My English, it's a Thai English. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's for this. Uh, Sometimes your accent. Oh, okay. Well, what did you say? Ah, so I, I don't uh, understand everything. But um, that's, that's fine. I mean, you're already ahead of most Thais. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> so, how did you find out about this uh, niche with CBD oil for massage? I never heard about it before. Uh, you asked me where you, you can to discover? Yeah. Yeah, by, uh, the, by in spa. Uh, I don't know if you know uh, Tonmai Spa. Tonmai, oh, the spa. one I showed you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, where. It it's a yeah. good place. I went there uh, this Sunday. Sunday? Last Sunday? Yeah, ah. it was oh, completely okay. packed this Sunday. It was so full, there was not even a place to, to chill. Yeah, so the it's sauna. A good place, you... a sauna, a swimming pool, and a good massage. Uh, the, as owner, it's also French. Good guy. Okay, yeah, good guy. so you're basically building your business, your online business from here, selling yes. CBD products from exactly. And my brand, it's a co massage. Okay, like uh, Koh Lanta, Koh Samui, it's a co massage Iceland paradise. Oh, nice! <laughs> oh, nice. So, you smoke also or only massage? Mm, no smoke, no, no smoke weed. I, I, uh, no. <laughs> you don't. But uh, before, yes, and uh, Thailand, uh, it's a good place for this, for everything, but uh, all, um, just uh, I have a good view, it's enough for me. Yes. No need to smoke. I mean, the best office you could possibly imagine <laughs> is this. <laughs> yes, yeah. good office, you have a good choice. Yeah. Good, you like? good, good taste, yeah, yes. for your office. Uh, welcome in my office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, Thank so you. <laughs> it's nice to be here. And so you sell your CBD online on a Shopify store, or what do you use? What uh, yes, uh, I put in place uh, this uh, like uh, e-commerce site. Uh, I work only with uh, professional. Okay. Uh, like B2B. Cool. What's your name again? Christo. 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 Okay, man. And a pleasure. You? Yeah, Roman. 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 Melvin. Yes. Ma Melvin. Melvin. Yeah. Melvin. Nice yeah. to meet you, Christo. Pleasure to meet you. I wish you good luck with your business. Yes, you too. And uh, we just keep on 
heading that and, that uh, way. I, I give you uh, my card. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe uh, if you put uh, on a website, uh, I am curious uh, to to know what you you present. Yeah. I'll yeah, I can send you my newsletter. You can sign up, and we can. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, we, we can connect. It's just in English. I write everything in English, if that's okay. <laughs> Co massage. Oh, nice. Yes, great. Thank awesome, you. my friend. And uh, you were here for a long, long time? Or? Uh, not sure, not long. I mean, two months. Two months? Yeah. Oh, not bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. Yes. Yeah. Thank See you, you, man. You Take care. Have a good day. Guys, listen to this. I was talking to Melvin right here, and this guy is actually applying a really cool strategy in order to make sure that he will be a solopreneur, full-time creator. He doesn't even know what he's going into, but here is the thing. He he already spent how much? Two ten thousand bucks? Yeah, ten thousand dollars on registering his future company in Dubai. He does not know yet what he's going into, but he's already made the investment. So now he sort of he's forced to figure it out some way. It's actually, it's actually, this is the spirit you need for entrepreneurship. Like you need to fucking burn your bridges and your ships and then go full in. There's no fucking um, mercy. Like just go straight into it, and then you need to be figure it out. It's a really good strategy. The thing is, like it might sound a bit crazy and scary. But at the same time, for me, like I don't want to leave the nine to five job. That's more scary to me. Yeah. So like, it's either this or that. Yeah. Fuck nine to five, guys. Fuck nine to five. But you know what? Then welcome to nine to nine from Monday to Sunday. <laughs> That's the solopreneur life. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's how it is. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? You speak English? No, sorry. Uh, no English. No. Russia. Russia. Oh, so many Russians here. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm from Sweden, I'm from Germany, we're making video. You speak a little bit English? No. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Have a good one. Hey guys, you speak English? Yes, ma'am. And we're just doing random interviews with um, uh, like nomads, like travelers. Okay. Because I have a newsletter about uh, digital nomadism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, you look like one. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Uh, I'm not. I'm not yet. I stay here. Okay, that counts, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me, mate. I'm. Uh, I work at sea. So. Uh, Where do you work? I work at sea. Sea. At sea. Yeah, at sea. I'm a captain. Oh, oh. really? Mm. Oh, that's amazing. So you came here by in your boat? No, 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 I, uh, it was a different country. I'm on a short holiday and then I go back to work. Oh, so I thought you have your boat over there no, and, no, no, and no, just I'll, sailing I'll away. <laughs> oh, so I, wish. I sail away once I finish partying. No, 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 it's a different country. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, um, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long are you here? Uh, just over two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Because it's like also, I mean, in general, Phuket, Thailand is a nomad hotspot. Yeah, no, for, no, like no, a lot of young guys come here, yeah. travel and uh, work at the same time. So yeah. I'm trying to find some, but today is like um, it's just I don't being know. lazy, everyone. <laughs> I don't know, mate. It's, uh, I, I just know, I'm hitting on try, try cafes, I guess. I did, yeah, and yeah. so far I've only been hitting on Russians, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the population here, and, and they done. they don't qualify. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friends. French. And oh. we talked to another French guy over there. He sells weed. So that's not CBD not sure. oil for myself. Okay, it's the same. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's all legal here now anyway. So. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So yeah. What yeah, are cool. you doing? Uh, web, web developer? You're not together, right? No, no, no. sitting. No. Okay. No, okay. That's a fair distance. So you look like, a medi like I'm going to meditate now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I had to get my back straight. Okay. Like, okay, okay. Otherwise, I feel things. Yeah. Awesome. Well, right now, enjoy. Like me, yeah, thanks, man. Thailand is more like a... I come for boxing. For boxing? Yeah. Yeah. Mao, Mao, Mao Thai. Yeah, like I traveled a lot in Asia, and uh, where well, you can find Muay Thai gyms, uh, like in Indonesia or 
maybe I don't know Philippines, but it's not the same as Thailand. Like. Yeah, Thailand is real, famous real for my. I was I stayed in uh, Surin Beach just uh, last week, and there's a huge, huge uh, gym for uh, Mao Thai. Big, like a lot of people. Like they had like I don't know hundreds of guys and girls too. It must be a star who opened. Uh, a gym like this. I like a big one. I, yeah, I don't even ones. know. And they were charging like more than, I mean, actually pretty expensive, like for a month. She, she t I think 15,000 baht for a month, all included. It's a fucking expensive, like just $300 for a gym in Thailand. Well, depends on the gym. If it's a famous gym. Well, it have... must have been because it's so many people inside and then to be able to charge in Thailand, 300 bucks per month, you, not, you gotta be good. Because they have the customers, enough customers. Yeah. When you have enough, you can afford to get your price higher. Yeah. Yeah, but if you are empty, you need to... You need to... To lower the price. Fill up the vessel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Do you work here also? Like, since you're a digital Take care. developer? Take care. Yeah, I'm developing Smooth sail a sailing. So you can work from anywhere. <laughs> Freelancing, yeah, yeah. That's really great because that's kind of what we're looking for. People that can work from uh, vacation. Yeah. Different vacations. Well, yeah. freelancing on a web developer is, is hard mm -hmm. because uh, obviously if you want to find a, a customer in Thailand, it's, it's pretty hard. Like, Well, but you, you don't... The idea is not to for you to uh, target Thai people, but working from here and targeting people of, uh, abroad. I mean, in, in your home country or in the U.S. or wherever yeah, you want to. Yeah. Because obviously, Thai people to as a target market is not a good. I mean, probably you need to know Thai first of all. Yeah. Right? Oh, but there is also some foreigners that wants a website in Thailand, but they would look for maybe. Uh, yeah, if you have Thai a hotel or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But like the, that's a, that's not like the, the nomad lifestyle the thing is more like online businesses going on, like selling a e-commerce or affiliate marketing or content-based uh, stuff like around influencers and having their own digital products. Yeah, like, you know that type of work. It's, it's like get, it's getting hard because there is a lot of people that wants to do it now. I don't think so. I, I think it's I think it's the gold the gold rush of it's gonna just be more and more of that. Yeah. Yes, because everything like like education like courses on you can get a courses specialized on. It depends on. I think the distinguishing factor will be specificity, like how how specific you can deliver. Because as people, you need all all sorts of things. If you know, um, if you are very specific and what you, you're not just like. Pop, like uh, promote yourself. Oh, I'm gonna show you how to make online business. That's too too broad. But if you can say, so I'm giving you a course for so you can use uh, specific platforms to do this and that, mm. and it's a different story, right? Yeah, if you have a niche. Yeah, niche. That I like niche and or um, specific. Uh, skill. Yeah, there's a ton of ways uh, you can do that. Knowledge, yeah. specific knowledge. Yeah, specific yeah. knowledge is the same. Obviously, thing. marketing is very important today. Uh, yes, but that is businesses. that's become easier now because nowadays you can just you just be need to be consistent on the social media platforms and put out your content like yeah. 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 All but right. Also, you need to be uh, competitive because yes. there is a lot of uh, competitors. Right? You you need to do better content. But you need to do unique content. Unique because content. Better is a subjective term. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on what you deliver, the entertainment I or... Guess, I guess uh, better is, means also unique, <laughs> With your own style. Yeah, not, not, not like everything else, like, not like one, one like another... You gotta be uh, su surprising. Yeah, you know? in a way, yeah. You gotta surprise. Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Sir, good to meet you. What's your name? Nico. Nico? Yeah. Hi. Roman? Are you... Uh, what are you doing? Um, you have a YouTube channel? Or? I have a YouTube channel. I have a newsletter where I drive my traffic to. Yeah. Where I uh, craft stories around uh, travel, solo travel, entrepreneurship, mm. how to make money online with the, using a, new, a newsletter. And yeah, we can change socials if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish this.